Hello friends. Hi, this is Ganesh Naik. Welcome back to our channel. Today we're going to be talking about two very important uh, finance courses, ESG and the SCR certification. The SCR certification is from CARB and the ESG certification is from the CFA Institute. These certifications are super valuable in the finance world. Remember the COVID-19 pandemic which taught us that the risk can be very, very big and very, very expensive for companies. Understanding these certifications like SCR and ESG can give you extra advantage and can be mindful of the risk that is going to come in the future. The SCR certification is for GAL, from GAL and the Nobel Association of this Professional. What they are doing is they are helping you to understand what are the different types of risks there in the finance better. And especially the focus is on handling the climate related risk. And guess what? Once you become a finance expert, this application is also there in supply chain, operation, technology, any other things also. On the other hand, when you talk about CFA Institute's ESG certification, the CFA Institute being a very, very big name in the finance world offers this certification with a special focus on environmental, social and governance factor. On the flip side, when we look at the CFA ESG, you are giving a bigger picture of more than sustainability. When you compare two companies like company A and big on their finances, but they are not able to manage their environmental part, social part better, then the ESG will give you a better idea. Then they will be able to help you which company is performing better, not only focusing on the financing part itself. SCR certification for GAP is all about mastering the climate part, the climate related risk that companies can face. So the idea that they're covering is climate-based science, how to analyze data, what are the regulations, what are the policies, and what are the different scenarios. It will also help you to teach how to assess risk with, with respect to your business strategy, supply chain, with respect to people point of view also. They will help you to understand the climate-specific risk that your business is facing in much more detail. When we talk about ESG certification, the institute is more focused on the environment and social and governance aspect of the finance and the investment world. It covers mostly how companies are looking at ESG, the ESG data, the integration of ESG, different stakeholder management, impact investing, all real life world case study and ESG related trends are covered in this concept. And also they will be making you understand how you can make responsible and sustainable investing as a firm. So when we talk about GARP SCR exam, it has 80 questions and which is spanned across three hours. On the other hand, when we talk about CFA ESG, it has 100 questions which is spanned around two hours 20 minutes. When you register for the SCR exam, the cost is around $650 and the, when you register for CFA ESG, it is $798, so which makes it slightly costlier than the SCR exam. The passing rate are undeniably crucial. Interestingly, the passing rate of, for the CFA ESG is much slightly higher. When we look at SCR, it is around 51%. When we talk about the CFA exam, the CFA Institute ESG exam, it ranges from around 60 to 70%, but it ranges. It is not a fixed number, okay? Now, both SCR and ESG, it has been widely recognized as a very well-respected and expertized course in a particular segment, it has an international prestige. When we talk about like this ESG or specifically, the CFE Institute's UK Society UK has given it more better recognition. At an overall level, when you are going to choose between the ESG and the GAL this year exam, the student or any candidate has to focus on what is his area of interest and what are his career aspirations. When you look at SCR exam from GAL, it focuses more on climate risk management, which is going to impact various industries and challenges. When you talk about CFA ESG, it is, it is a holistic impact of the business, incorporating everything, environmental, social, and the governance aspect of it. So decision depends upon which type of certification will bring you closer to your dream job. Both certification offers you a variety of benefit. It aligns to the passion of the, uh, as a professional you want to fulfill in the industry. So choose the certification wisely and do better in your career. So if you like this video, do subscribe to my channel and do share this video with your friends and anybody who is preparing and getting up skinning in the finance sector. Thank you.